Hey guys, I'm really not even sure how I want to make this video. So I figure I would just kind of go through some of my thoughts and talk about what has been frustrating me so much today and, and over the past month or so of uh, games that I've been streaming. Now, I've currently been playing Pathfinder Kingmaker and there are a lot of elements of it that are very fun. I like the story. I like the turn-based combat mod. I like turn-based games in general. Some of the things though that I really am not enjoying right now, and we've had this issue with a few other games that I've tried recently, is it not actually being skill-based. Uh, what I mean by that is a lot of things are role-based. Now, I don't necessarily have a problem with role-based games. In fact, I say XCOM 2 is one of my favorite games of all time, and it's very role-based. I think my issue is the reloading because of poor rolls constantly and that you have to brute force your way through it instead of it being something that becomes skill based. XCOM 2 I would say is closer to chess. While you do have rolls, there are ways to mitigate your bad rolls, there are ways to pad um, your missions so that you don't need to rely necessarily on a 30% chance, a 40% chance, using other gameplay mechanics in it, such as grenades. Uh, I mean, you can get scopes, you can get positioning, you get flanking shots, etc., and things like that. To, and and it, it'll, it becomes tactical. It becomes something that because of my knowledge of the game systems, I understand that an 80% shot is going to miss one out of five times. I also understand that I will miss a 95% shot one out of 20 times. This doesn't make it game ending. Now, something like Pathfinder on the other end, though, is something that it's, well, I don't want to call it game ending. It brings you to this point where you need to reload. And there is a lot of this in Pathfinder, especially on the higher difficulties. We are only playing on challenging. We're not playing on fair or hard. And, and the fact that I'm getting so frustrated with some of these roll checks and constantly reloading, especially with long load times, doesn't make for good gameplay in my opinion. This is all my opinion. This is how I feel. This is what I'm looking for in video games, right? Um, there, there's some other issues with Pathfinder that I that really kind of set me off today that I don't want to go into. It gets a little spoilery. Uh, but the other issue, I think, is, is the bosses being very underwhelming. Um, one of the acts, there, there's this big build-up to, to fighting a boss, and then there's a second phase where, where something else comes into the, the room. We did this in one round. The reason we were able to do this in one round is because we pre-buffed our party with a spell that makes them immune to their one cheese mechanic, where it's supposed to like mind control us and incapacitate us and then it's supposed to give us a challenge, right? I also really dislike that. Uh, it's Pathfinder doesn't feel like a game where my skill and my knowledge of of like my characters and enemy characters comes into play. It's literally, do you have this check or not? Did you roll it or not? And that's it. Uh, there, there's a lot of fights, I feel like, where it's, it's if you didn't roll um, well on that first round, it's over. There, there's no chance fighting back. You're dead, right? If you didn't come with the, this buff or a way to remove this debuff immediately, reload. If you, if you didn't make a skill check on, on a conversation, uh, right, because you rolled a two and you needed a eight high or higher, reload, because that's hundreds of thousands experience uh when managing your your kingdom as well uh okay so you have like 45 percent chance to succeed you got a bunch of this stuff going oh that failed that failed spectacularly that was a disaster or that was a triumph reload just keep reloading until you get the things now one of the ways i think you could combat that is if there was like an option to take 10 or take 20 i think is the proper term for that where um especially in conversations, just assume I'm always going to get a 20. Now, you can balance this by making the skill checks higher. Did I not invest enough points in persuasion? Did I not invest enough points in trickery, right? Where even, or will if I keep reloading, will I hit this? Is basically what I'm saying. Like, should, should that allow it? Um, and that's not that type of option. Now, something with XCOM, with a similar, uh, in the similar vein of the roles, Yes, I guess you can reload, but your your game isn't over for losing a soldier. Your game isn't over for losing a mission for the most part. Now, when you get into Long War II and things of that nature, especially early on, uh, it can be very detrimental to your progression. But as, as, a, as a whole, you learn, you adapt, you become better, um, and you become more prepared. I don't get that with Kingmaker, right? I don't get that sense that I've learned 
uh, what mechanics are going to be thrown at us that I can prepare to deal with this and then have interesting boss fights or interesting encounters. Um, another game, though, that does this very, very well is Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire. Uh, they added a turn-based mode later. Uh, I, I get the turn-based mode is not the Pathfinder Kingmaker official mode, but the new one will have one, uh, turn-based mode, which is exciting, but we'll see how they, if they learn, I guess, from their poor boss design. Um, I'm going to take the spider boss out of Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire, though. You do not need to have a certain type of party to beat this boss, right? Let's look at frickin', uh people who have beaten this... Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire on the ultimate, which is all the buffs enabled, all the debuffs enabled. You have to keep a useless human alive the entire time, do the entire game solo on the hardest difficulty with one save. So in hardcore mode, right? And of course it was theory crafted and people practiced and, and they figured out how they could do this. And yes, you can do this with Pathfinder Kingmaker as well. But there's a lot of variety in how they're doing that as well. At the end of the day, and even like going into your first time fighting this, it took me several attempts. This big giant spider, it had a mechanic where you had to group little spiders up to debuff the boss so you could do damage to the boss. You could do this with a variety of parties using a variety of things you've learned about the game as you go on. You are not reliant on having a skill to become immune to something that is just makes you reload, right? We miss rolls on that with our attacks constantly. We had to reposition. We had to learn a lot of different strategies to do this, not rely on a singular ability that we either have or we don't to pass it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to finish Kingmaker. I will say that as well. It's I put 171 hours into this game so far through some of the frustrations that I've had with, with the roll checks and bosses being underwhelming. And there's something in the story that just put me over the edge today. And yeah, I, I don't know. I don't really know where I wanted to go with this video. I just kind of wanted to make it to, to express some of my frustration and where I think uh, I, games that have role checks aren't for me at, at some level, you know, like where, where you can't use skill to mitigate that. It's it's you either did it or don't. I don't like those type of games. Uh, this has been my TED talk, I guess. And thanks for listening.